supporters. Uh, how much are you looking forward to kicking off our cup? Campaign? Very much. Obviously, a competition that is very much uh, attached to the history, successful history of this club. So tomorrow we have, on Monday we have a, a good start, a good test. Um, is there any fresh team news since the Newcastle game? No, no more news. Uh, what have you made of Oxford from what you've seen of them so far? Well, it's always tricky. I played there a few times and uh, I have experienced very difficult matches, so um, it will be difficult. Um, we have to be, again, uh, take the t competition very seriously, the opponent very seriously, and uh, and play well to a higher level to, to win a match. We'll be wearing our all white kit as well as part of the uh, No More Red initiative. How important a campaign is it for the club? It's great. I think the support of the club has given to the. Um, to the community and vice versa, and um, and the fact that we are constantly supporting these kind of things, I think is very important because it has keep a lot of people and especially young young people safe in in our community. Hello. Hello. Um, Peter, may I just start by asking about the transfer window? Mm -hmm. um, and whether there's any transfer updates for Madrid? No updates, unfortunately, no. for you. Um, I did want to ask you about Madrid, but I'm assuming you're going to say. Okay, um, the second thing I wanted to ask you about was the club has now been charged with a, a breach of FA rules. I know you've got to Tuesday to respond to that, but is there anything you would say on that in the meantime? No. Okay, um, and also the FA Cup, which I know yeah. you touched on there, is, is huge for Arsenal, um, such a big part of the club's history and so exciting. It's always a juggle, but you're going into it this year top of the league, so is it almost more of a juggle than ever? How do you kind of no, I think it's a competition that we are really looking forward to play that brings uh, huge memories uh, to our football club and um, to the team because recently, not many years ago, we won it, but as well we, we had experience of last year how we went um, out of the competition, so it's a competition that we really want to play and compete. And I guess the ambition is, is, is there to win it again this year? The ambition is to win on Monday first and then go slowly because it's a, it's a long run. I know you touched on it there, but can you just chat to us a little bit more about Oxford and, and what you make of them as a side to come off the eighth? Well, it will be difficult. What we've seen, obviously, they played in, in different ways, result-wise as well. They have a bit of everything, but uh, it's a very special night, a special day. Everybody raised the level, and um, it will be tough. Thank you. Thank you. In that centre midfield role that Jack has played in, move a lot more further forward in the last year. He's occupying spaces that Smith Rowe was occupying on that left hand side. Do you think that Smith Rowe therefore could fill in quite comfortably where Jack is playing? Right now? Emil can play as an attacking midfielder or as a, a winger, even as a, as a nine. I think he's played there before. Um, First of all, we need him fit at his best, uh, and when when we have that, we have an incredible player that we have missed a lot in the last um, few months. And um, and if tomorrow he trains well, he will be hopefully available to to give us something in the game. And just secondly, on, on the transfer, no, nothing on players, don't worry. Um, but like the amount of spending that's gone on in the last years has got ramped up and ramped up and ramped up. Is there a frustration that it's preventing clubs like Arsenal maybe getting hold of players for the value you see them at? I don't know, obviously, valuations have to be made between the selling club and the buying club. And um, it is difficult, uh, but as well it shows that there are a lot of clubs with um, a lot of financial power to spend um, big amounts and, um, and we have to compete with them. So we have to, to be smart, we have to seek for good opportunities as well and, and we have to be attractive for players. At the end, players decide where they want to play and if they want to play for our club, uh, this is great. Hi, Michael. I know the reference was made to the charge from the Newcastle game, but after the match, some former players were saying they love the way you behave on the touchline, encouraging the players and driving them on. Some criticised you for going over the top and said it would have a negative effect in, on the team. What's your view on, on that debate? I'm not part of that debate. Um, I think publicly they can't uh, have their opinions. I try to do my best um, for this football club to defend it, to promote it. Um, to play with the passion that I believe uh, the game has to be played and there are moments um, it's not the same that I behave against West Ham or the game, every game is special if you look at every manager they behave very differently regarding the circumstances you cannot take the context out of a situation I don't think that is fair but um, that's me yeah. well, here and in the pitch it's me, I'm sorry <laughs> for the good and the bad 
So is it instructions? Is it encouragement? Well, depending. The other day it wasn't very focused on that. It was focused on other aspects. Do you think it has an impact on the way the players feel, the way you behave? That's not for me to say. I read a lot of time that this team is the mirror of the coach or the passion of this. Um, I don't know. So you're not going to change for anyone or anything? That's you? That's me. <laughs> and uh, I will try all the time to be better. And for sure, whatever I do, if it's tomorrow, the next day, the next one, is to make uh, the club stronger, um, my play is better, and, uh, and play better and win, for sure. Uh, so if I have to do something, I would do it. If I have to change something, believe me, I will look in the mirror myself and I will change it very quickly. Has that changed in football? Because you didn't used to see managers on the touch. When you played, 